If it's you must have, I must have. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Raven and I'm a fashion stylist and content creator. But on my channel, I do fashion hauls, press on nail reviews, a little bit of DHgate and some travel. So this video is going to be a TikTok made me buy it. We're going to be talking about 10 things, mainly from the tech and the beauty world that TikTok made me buy. Now I am one of the girlies, honey, that every time I see a video when someone is raving about a product, my wallet comes out. The card gets swiped. It's a bad thing that I already know my CVC and my credit card numbers are saved in my phone because every single time they will get me. If it's you must have, I must have. I am influenced every single time. I'll be sure to link everything that I can in the description box below. So let's just get into this list. First up, I bought this light from Amazon. Now, the video that influenced me to buy this was everything. She listed it in her storefront and it was not on Prime. And, I, and it was like 60 bucks. I was like, girl, what is this? So I went and searched because I was like, ain't no way I'm paying $60 for this light and it's not even on Prime. Like they have to have at least have a Prime listing. Like <laughs> I got to wait all this time for shipping and it's $60. So I ended up finding a listing for basically half the price is $36. And I was like, that's doable. Okay, it's still a lot for this little tiny light, but it's way better than like 60, 70 bucks. So here she is. I love her down. She comes with like a few different light settings. There is a more like yellow tone. There's more of like a bluish, like it's not really like sunlight, but then you know that very white bright light tone in this. There's also a mix of the two. She is good. And when I tell you in the dark, the girlies get it together, honey. Okay, like I take this light if I'm going to dinner, whatever. We just pan it over. We get all the shots that we need to get. It also clips on your phone, which is great. And then it also has this little like, what is this? Like thing that tightens to keep it from like falling down and whatnot. It's rechargeable. So you don't have to worry about any wires, anything like that. And it stays charged for a very long time. Like she is that girl, okay? Especially if you're going to be doing like close-up videos, any kind of like selfie pictures that you need to do. I had to get over, you know, turning her on in public, especially in darker settings where people are like, yes, we do have our own lights, okay? Because these photos are not going to be dark. They're going to be lit, okay? And she is going to be giving what needs to be given because I did not beat this face for y'all not to be able to see it in all of its glory, okay? So I'm going to turn off my ring lights so that you can see what she's actually giving. She lights up the face. When you have your phone attached to this, everything. Can we get into this? Can we get into the light? Can we get into it? It also has a dimmer. If you need it to be a little bit dimmer, honey, turn up that brightness. You can do what needs to be done. And she also has like a hole here that fits over your front facing camera. So you can still get what you need to get. If you need to use her with your back camera, you can literally clip her wherever you need to. Definitely worth the investment. Next up is an iPad, okay? I don't know if you were in that TikTok era or if this was on your For You page of if I get an iPad, I'm gonna get my life together. That was me. Okay, I was like, I need an iPad so that I can get my life together. So I can start doing these planner things that these girlies are doing on TikTok, making it look all fancy, doing all of that with my planner that's going to get my life together that's in my iPad. None of these things happened, okay? First of all, Raven's handwriting is not neat enough to do the things that the girlies were doing on TikTok, okay? It just was not. But my iPad has helped me tremendously. I literally do all of my editing on my iPad for all of my YouTube videos, my social media videos, and it has literally changed the game. I can edit a lot quicker, a lot faster, and she has changed my life for the better, but not in the way that I thought she was going to. You know what I'm saying? We still have a very regular planner that is in IRL, okay, and not on our iPad. If you are a video editor and you want to be editing videos, even if it's just for social media, on your iPad, I would suggest getting the two terabyte 
because this is now my second iPad. I literally had my first one maybe a year, and then I got my second one because I was running out of space. That's how large these files are. Okay? So make sure that you have the capacity on your actual iPad. If you don't want to keep deleting things, that's not my ministry. I'm not about that life because Raven will not be deleting 300 photos in one app just to take one more video. Okay, so I do have the two terabyte 11 inch with cellular capability and she was $2,000 before tax, okay? And I got her through my cellular provider. So I'm with Verizon, okay? And I just pay for her monthly. The first iPad that I had was the 128 gigabyte. I did buy her outright and she was $1,000. And also I wanted the one with cellular capabilities and I bought her straight from the Apple store. But I'll be sure to leave the link to the iPad, okay? For all of the options in the description box below. Next up, TikTok made me run to Target for these, honey, okay? These are the GE speaker light bulbs. And I believe I paid like less than $10 for them. I have not seen them recently for less than like $25 per light bulb, but I'll be sure to link them in the description box along with some alternatives that you can buy that basically do the same thing, but they're not the GE ones. So I saw this girl's TikTok. She was like, these speaker light bulbs are on sale at Target. You need to go get them. And I was like, I do need to go get them because I need speaker light bulbs. And when I tell you, I use these things every single day. I bought three light bulbs because that's all they had in store. Okay. I was trying to get all of them. Okay. I bought three light bulbs. One is in my bedroom. One is in my content room. And one is in my bathroom. Literally use the one in the bathroom all the time. It connects to my iPad. I use that to play my music while I'm in the shower. It is great. I use it to play music when I'm in my content room or in my bedroom, whatever. Like they're perfect. These would actually be perfect for any outdoor space, which I also thought about. I was like, oh, these would be great if I had like outdoor furniture and they were in the light fixtures outside. So you can really have like a surround sound experience because you can literally connect to all of them. So if my light switch is on in my bathroom and in my content room, I'm going to hear the same music or TV show. If I'm watching a TV show, it's going to be seamless. There is a remote that comes with it. So you can actually turn the light off if you don't actually need the light and just use the speaker portion. It turns the volume up and down. It dims the light. Like these things are everything. I did see them. I believe they have them at like Home Depot and on Amazon now. Again, they are like $25 per light bulb. If you don't want to spend $25 per light bulb, there are cheaper options. I don't know how good the sound quality is or anything like that. I have seen some that are speaker light bulbs and they also have like colored lights in them, which I think is really cool. But these are just going to be a regular light bulb. They don't have any colors, anything like that. As long as your phone or whatever device is connected to them and it does connect via Bluetooth, it's not super far away. The sound quality is really, really good. So I am obsessed. Lastly for tech items is this tripod. It is kind of like a mono tripod. You can use it as a selfie stick. You can set it up on the ground. It goes pretty high and then it like compacts down pretty small and is perfect for traveling. It also comes with a Bluetooth remote so you can use that to take your photos and she was $26. Now I took her on one trip. That was it. This thing is so flimsy. I was in my hotel room and this itch was falling over just from the weight of my phone. I was like, God forbid I was outside and it was a little windy. This surely would be on the ground. I don't know what these people are smoking who love this tripod, but I'm not a fan at all whatsoever. She is not that girl. Zero out of 10 recommend, possibly for like indoor stuff. If you need a tripod, but this was not the one for me. Like I would rather take one of my other tripods that's a little bit sturdier than this one because again, she's just, how would I take the picture? It's now on the ground. And I literally only had the weight of my cell phone. So if it was in low light and I needed to use my little phone light to put on there, it was too heavy for the tripod. What is the purpose of this? I do love that it comes with a remote, but I can also just buy a pack of remotes for like 
two dollars i don't know how much they are but like they're not expensive okay this to me was not worth the money it is only 26 dollars, so i can't really expect a ton for 26 dollars. but i could have saved my 26 dollars and not use this at all whatsoever i don't even know where it is at this point moving on next up to start off the beauty portion we're going to be talking about some fragrances because y'all know i love to smell good okay and first up is this very sexy oasis by victoria's secret i was a little skeptical i ain't even gonna lie when the girl was like this is what gets the man going i was like victoria's secret is this what we're getting like victoria like really and i got it and it smells so it was only $25. I did get the fine fragrance mist because that's what she said to get. But they do have a regular perfume. So I'll be sure to link both of those in the description box. But when I tell you, chef's kiss, chef's kiss. So this is a floral perfume. And the notes are tuberose blanche. Okay, so it's like a white tuberose. Uh, camellia and orange flower. She smells so good. I really do want to get like the perfume the body wash the body lotion because you already know victoria's secrets is doing that okay i want to get them all layer it up and smell good all day i did get the very sexy just like the plain one the body oil roll on from wholesalebodyoils.com if you haven't seen that video here it is and i think i'm going to layer those to kind of help the scent last a little bit longer but she smells so good and she comes in two different sizes I need the other size because I have the big size. The smaller size, I believe, is $12 and it's perfect for traveling. Next up, this is an Amazon fragrance. This fragrance is from the line R-Math. It's A-R-M-A-F. Okay. It's Club de Nuit Women. It's one of those perfumes that you can pull out of the box and smell right away. Like, she smells so good and lasts so long obsessed i'm so glad that i bought this perfume 10 out of 10 recommend and she's not expensive she's like 30 bucks 30 bucks for a perfume like come on now come on she's amazing so the notes are orange grapefruit bergamot peach rose geranium jasmine lychee patchouli vanilla musk and vitivia so she is supposed to be a dupe for coco mademoiselle i heard that they smell very similar Go ahead and get her if you like that smell. But to me, she smells amazing. Regardless if she's supposed to smell like something else or not, 10 out of 10 recommend. Next up is another fragrance. It is MAC Turquatica. First of all, who knew that MAC made fragrances? Not I. And when I tell you this smells so good, I have been in my fragrance bag this last like year. If TikTok says this is the fragrance to get, that's the fragrance I'm going to get every single time and this was no different like i added this to my christmas list i was like please get this because this is what i want and she smells so good this bottle is 75 dollars. apparently they made different fragrances it's based off of different colors in the mac wheelhouse let's just get into the notes because it just it's giving what needs to be given okay the notes are anemone lotus Oris and Corsican Blue Cedar. I saw multiple videos on how good this perfume was. And again, I didn't even know Mac made perfume. But I bought her and she smelled like they said that she was going to smell. Divine. 10 out of 10, recommend. And lastly are the makeup items. Next up is the setting powder from Palace Identity and she was $38. Now, I will say, this setting powder really does perform. I used her down to the last granule, honey. Okay, anything that I could get out of this packaging, I got. Because first of all, we spent $38 on her. Second of all, she just worked. I loved her down. I have not re-upped on her, mainly because of the price. And she was sold out. But she really does work. And I'm not even gonna lie, the packaging was a good 75% of the reason why I bought this because it was just so beautiful. Um, another reason why I have not re-upped on her is because it is not practical for travel. It is very bulky. I wish that it came in a smaller packaging. Maybe it was still gold, but just something that wasn't as like 
cumbersome, but she is gorgeous and she works so well. When I tell you the under eyes were blurred for the gods, honey, okay? Not a crease in sight. And I believe she comes in two different colors. I used the like white translucent one. And again, I was obsessed. Like she's a girl, 10 out of 10 recommends. Next up is the Aquaphor Lip Balm. Again, I saw this girl. She was like, this is what you need for your lips. And so I went and got it. Okay, on Amazon. It was $8. The girl said she works wonders and that her lips were never softer. So I had to get her. I don't think y'all understand how the simplest of marketing is going to get me hooked. Okay? I will fall for it every single time. But she did not lie. Okay? This Aquaphor is really that girl. I really do love her. She's probably in my top two of lip balms. Not gonna lie. My other one is Jack Black. Love them down. Okay. But this Aquaphor, she's good. Uh, like it creates like a nice barrier on your lips. Like if you have any dry, cracked, anything, honey, men, go get you some of this Aquaphor. Healed right up, honey. Okay. I don't think I ever want this to go out of stock. In my households, I will always have some Aquaphor lip balm. Now I need to get the all over. Like the, the jar that everybody be having, I need that now. I'm like, if this does this for my lips, I need this to do this for my body, okay? She is that girl. If you don't get nothing else, get that light and get this lip balm. <laughs> and lastly is this Corsix Snail Moosin moisturizer and she was $21 okay I'm gonna tell you right now I was not a fan at first I tried it the same girl with the aquaphor was like you need to get this your skin will never feel smoother it's gonna really transform I put it on I was like it ain't doing nothing though well it ain't doing what she said it was supposed to be doing why did I buy this for $21 okay I kept her changed up my routine a little bit use her every day now every single day underneath my moisturizer and she's amazing i love her so much like she really just like plumps my skin she makes it feel so much more moisturized and a little bit goes a long way so i know i'm gonna have this little jar forever it seems like they do have a repairing essence it's like a serum that's also about twenty dollars i do want to try her next okay because i do love a good serum like the older you get, the longer your skincare routine tends to be, okay? And right now, we're at a good, at least five steps. We might be at six or seven steps, but we can add another one. Well, that is it, y'all. That is my full TikTok made me buy it, okay? And I'll be sure to leave everything that I discussed in this video in the description box below. And since you've made it this far, you might as well join the tribe of baddies on a budget, honey, and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're the first to be notified every time I post a new video. And you might as well follow me on IG and TikTok. Until next time, sis, watch this video that was picked specifically for you.